Welcome back to Jersey Matters to talk more now about the drought warning for 14 central and north Jersey counties is Daniel Kennedy, who is assistant commissioner of the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection. Thank you so much, sir, for coming in. You're welcome. So how bad are we? How bad is this drought? Well, um, we have been monitoring the situation with our water supplies, uh, not just when it's wet, but when it's dry as well. So we have a great professional staff and partner institutions that stay on top of this. It's quite dry right now, uh, leading us to take some actions moving forward to make sure that um, the water supply is balanced out throughout the state. And, and obviously you don't just look at the ground. How do you measure how dry it is? Correct, you and I might look outside, look at our, our grass that's dry and think we're getting towards a drought. We don't do that at the DEP. We have sets of stream gauges, reservoir level tests. Um, we have uh, measures of groundwater. All these information plus precipitation comes into the mix that give us a sense based on the actual systems in the state to give us an idea the health of our drinking water system. Is it an, there's an easy way to understand where we are right now? There's a very easy way to understand where we are now. We have on our drought website www.njdrought.org. Www um, there you'll find our drought indicators. Um, and that indicators will show you that we have a good part of our, in all the northeast part of the state and central state um, uh, under a drought warning at this point. And what can we do? Are there tips you can give for us to help out in getting New Jersey out of a drought? It's always a good idea to conserve water. Uh, as residents and as business owners, we can take several steps and those steps are on our drought website. A um, Couple easy things to think about. If you're gonna wash your car this weekend, perhaps use a car wash that uses uh, recycled water. Um, if you're thinking about replacing some of the internal fixtures in your house, think about doing uh, water saver type fixtures that will save water every single day. Um, uh, anything you can do to conserve water is a good idea. Turning off the water when you're brushing your teeth. Uh, think about going outside, making sure all of your automatic sprinklers are off. Simple things like that could really make a difference on the supply side. I'm sure you hire or you consult with meteorologists and climatologists. We sure do. What are we looking at in the near future? Do you see an end to this? We consult directly with the state climatologist at Rutgers University. Um, he's, his message to us is, is, is indecision. Um, it doesn't look like we have a high chance. It's not chance. helpful. <laughs> it is not. It doesn't look like we have a high chance of a lot of rain. It doesn't have a high chance of being dry. So it's in the middle somewhere. So they're not giving us some really good predictions about where to um, where, where they think it's going. Which probably led to this decision. Sure does. I mean, with, with water supply, you have to take an abundance of caution. So this measure that we're, we're talking about here, the drought warning, will help us avoid an emergency in the future. What we're trying to do is to shift resources of water in the state to make sure that every region of the state has sufficient water so we don't go into an emergency situation, which only can be declared by the governor, uh, whereby there are some so, um, impacts to residents and businesses that would be more serious. I can already hear people that are listening to you, and that, or at least I can read their minds, and many people will be going, Look, how much is it going to help if I turn the water off when I'm brushing my teeth? How much is going to help if I take a, a shower that's three minutes less than I would normally take it? So I ask you, how much would it help if everybody did that? Every little bit helps, for sure. So everyone listening today, uh, they're a part of the solution. Um, we're all in this together. Um, both our residents, our water suppliers, our water supply professionals, um, our mayors. The word needs to get out that uh, if we don't start to conserve water and get some rain um, in the spring when we need the water more than we do now, because it's true during the fall, winter and early spring, this is the time of year when demands are down. Uh, you know, outside use is certainly down, so that's a good thing. This, this, the timing of this uh, situation we're in is actually pretty good for us, uh, where we're not experiencing this during the summer. We had a very wet July that delayed uh, the uh, decision here for a warning. Um, but if we don't have a, um, some precipitation coming in the fall and the winter, come spring, we're gonna be in, uh, in a worse shape. So I imagine you're one of the few people hoping for a snow-filled winter. Yes, sir, absolutely, <laughs> here and all throughout the Northeast. And this is an issue that we're facing all throughout the region. Our surrounding states are facing this exact same situation. They have um, taken certain actions in their own states. So this is not just a New Jersey issue, this is a regional issue that we're facing, um, but New Jersey ha is blessed with having uh, great competent resources and supplies uh, of technical assets to make sure that we can respond appropriately. So we've got a lot of faith in our system to make sure that we can respond appropriately in New Jersey. Sir, thank you so much for coming in. Dan Kennedy is Assistant Commissioner of the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection. That wraps up Jersey Matters for this week. I'm Larry Menti. Thanks for joining us. Stick around now for another thing.